Well, even during a hot day like today, firefighters put their bodies on the line in the most extreme conditions. During scorching temperatures while wearing at least 45 pounds of gear, and it's no surprise that sometimes firefighters need to be hospitalized for heat exhaustion while on the job. But that's where a group of North Bay students come in, and as our Brian Hackney shows us, they came up with an invention that could help firefighters feel a lot more comfortable. These are the problem-solving whiz kids of Calistoga High. But which problem to solve? <laughs> Heather Brooks, their teacher, explains. We want them to form a bond in the community. We want them to start inventing for things that matter. So how did all this start? We went out and interviewed our community, um, mostly organizations. And every single group said they were very, very hot on their job, especially if they're outside. That group included ag workers outside in the hot sun. And Robert Allen inside his Marin Art Gallery? I run the art gallery, but there's something else that I do. I'm the assistant chief of the Muir Beach Volunteer Fire Department. Dehydration and heat exhaustion are big issues for firefighters. And you want to keep them cool? We do. We want to keep them cool while they're fighting fires. The kids well remember the massive Tubbs fire of 2017. They were alerts at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. that we had to leave. A huge fireball just a field over, and it was really scary. Because of all the wildfires we've had in this area, we just picked the firefighters because we cared about them. And also our agriculture workers because they were mostly our parents. Ninety percent of the students here are Latino, so with Alexa Navarrete as lead scientist. And I'm an administrator. And I am the CEO. And I am the lead inventor. They designed a kind of cooling smartware, experimenting, finessing, rejecting ideas. I do have to do that sometimes. <laughs> until their device actually did keep a firefighter cool in a hot sauna. So what is the breakthrough device? If we showed you, we'd have to kill you. This idea is top secret. Yes, yes. We're hoping to be patent pending by June and we don't have protected by the patent bureau yet, so anybody could come in and copy it and we lose our ability to claim that it's our device then. Instead, the class is flying to MIT as one of eight finalists in a national competition raising money for the trip. We have around $175,000 raised. Our goal is 200000 The real payoff is that this prototype actually works. Well, I was just really shocked. I, I was really surprised and I was really happy with the results. I feel like it was a huge win. And so does this firefighter. I think it's an amazing thing that these young people have taken on a um, challenge of this type and Congratulations to them. <laughs> As for Mrs. Brooks. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for Ms. Brooks. Ms. Brooks is a 10 teacher. <laughs> <laughs> she has sacrificed so much for us and we can make a difference. And I just greatly appreciate her and I thank you Ms. Brooks for everything that you've done for us. Welcome. Just really, wow. What a great project. What great students. What a great teacher. Brian also tells us that the students who put together the project got a chance to fly out to MIT to present their work before their graduation ceremony. Hi, thanks so much for watching. To view more content like this, we've selected some videos that we think you'll enjoy. And don't forget to like or click that button here on the bottom left of your screen to subscribe.